Unger and Madison are at it again. Florence Unger and all of Madison, that is, in Neil Simon's hilarious contemporary comic classic, the female version of The Odd Couple. And it opens this week at Hattrick Theater, which of course is Ruth Eckert Hall's resident theater company. And Jack is back. Of course, I'm talking about Jack Holloway, along with Christian and Nicholas Torres. Guys, welcome. Hello, thank you for having Hi. us. So lots I want to get to. The first thing I want to say may be the obvious. We're talking about a play that stars two women, the different take on an odd couple, and you brought me two guys, I'm Jack. I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm sorry. We were trying to be so progressive. And, <laughs> uh, these are the brothers of the show. Uh, yes. okay. In the original, it's the Pigeon Sisters. Uh, in the remake, there are five, five, uh, six women and two uh, Costazuela brothers. So. And these guys, brothers in real life as well. And I think great <laughs> examples of students at Ruth Eckerd. Explain a little bit, Christian, because you're a student now and you kind of got plucked to come and join this performance by Jack? Yeah, um, I've done about three summer shows with Jack. Um, I've been in The Little Mermaid with him. I was Harry McAfee in Bye Bye Birdie with him and yeah. Pirelli and Sweeney Todd this past summer. And over winter break, um, I got a message from him. I'm like at a steak and shake with my friends. Yeah. And I got a message from him saying, um, an actor backed out. Would you you want to want to be in a professional show? And I was like, yes, please. <laughs> I would love to do that. Um, he has taught me a lot, and he has given me endless opportunities. Well, clearly, he's taught you a lot, and it's worked. It's sunk in as well because we're seeing you now on stage. So I'm curious, Nicholas, brother. Were you already signed on when you found out that Christian was going to be playing your stage brother? I was signed on. So Jack reached out to me back in September asking me to be a part of the show. And this was Jane. I actually remember the exact date. Um, we were film I was filming something with a friend and I was getting a haircut and Christian texted me the <laughs> screenshot of the conversation between him and Jack. <laughs> and he's like, dude, look. And I was like, are you serious? This is awesome. I get to be on stage with my brother. Like, Playing brothers, yeah. having fun. Mom must be proud, right? Oh, she's over the moon. She's ecstatic. Like, yeah. she is so proud of us, yeah. Well, and I love that there, there's a, a comic element. And people probably know the odd couple. Explain how this is a big of a twist and what audiences can expect. Oh, my God. It's, it's Neil Simon, so just expect it's nonstop laughter. Um, uh, the six women, uh, along the Torres brothers, are, are killing it. They're hilarious. <laughs> uh, our ladies are very, they're just hysterical. And uh, it, it's a beautiful thing. Neil Simon has taken it and redone. There are the kind of classic elements, but they're if you're familiar with the male version, the female version is something brand new. New laughs, new time frame. Uh, it's just, he did it again, which is amazing. Ama well, you know what? I got to make sure and want to bring up, of course, the Marsha P. Hoffman School. Of course. What do you look for in a student? Let let's use Christian as an example since he's here. With the, you know, I don't want to embarrass him too much. But mm. when you do work with so many students, what is it that really set Christian and other actors aside that you were like, okay, they're ready to oh. make their performance with a, a professional play? That's what I've told this story a few times. I think um, during during a musical, I was walking around on a break. And the students are, and this is awesome. They're all, you know, they might be on a phone, reading a little bit, talking, meeting. Christian is reading Sanford Meisner, which is a very, it's an acting teacher. I didn't come across it until college. Of his own volition, Christian is sitting there reading Sanford Meisner. And I was like, are you? He's like, oh, yes, I was just doing a little, this was not for a class. He just picked up a book and decided I wanted to delve into this. Christian is one of the most hungry, ambitious students, and that stays in your brain that, oh, this, this young man is driven. So I think there's nothing Christian couldn't do. And guys, again, we need to get kind of come full circle and talk a little bit more about the play. I would love to get your thoughts as well. Nicholas, we haven't heard from you a lot. What are your thoughts on being able to take on this play and be able to dive into something that has the comic relief that so many people are looking for these days? I know. It's really it's really fun. It's a change of pace for me. I haven't, I'm haven't. i not really um, that familiar with doing comedy. I have kind of stuck more to drama. Oh. This is my <laughs> second comedy ever in my entire life, so I'm really excited. It's a challenge for me. Um, especially like doing an accent, but doing it with my best friend and my brother, it, Aww. it makes oh, it really easy and, and fun. <laughs> and I love it. I love to just have fun and just let loose and be a big goofball on stage. Yeah. <laughs> well, there are so many elements to this. Of course, you've got the great storyline. You've got the real life brothers. Go check it out for yourself. And of course, Jack is directing it, which is always reason to go check it out. There's the information again. Starts this week through the 24th. And there's how you can get tickets as well. Gentlemen, thank you all. Thank, thank you. you. So and now I hear Christian has to get back to school. So we got to go. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>